guy is up YouTube. It's for the franchise guy. Coming to another episode of our Philadelphia Phillies MLB the Show 20 franchise. I mean, we find ourselves down two to one in this NLDS against the Washington Nationals. It's game four against the Nats. And we find ourselves with our backs against the walls. We won game one. We won it very well. Six to three we won it. Then game two we dropped two nothing. And then game three we dropped one nothing. We are shut out back to back games after putting six runs on the board. Austin Voth for the Nationals will be taking the mound this game, getting more him to later. And Spencer Howard, they thought Nola was going to go in this deciding game, but no, we have decided to go with Spencer Howard, the rookie. But Austin Voth, we just mentioned him as the star for this game in nine starts this season. He went 8 and 4 with a 335 ERA. In 121 innings pitched, he allowed 119 hits, had a 1.39 whip, 49 strikeouts, 224 walks. Not a starter you usually think of when thinking of this Nationals team with Corbin, Strasburg, and Scherzer. But Voth getting the job done here as he's going to strike out Bryce Harper for his first punch out of the game. Now Spencer Howard in seven games. He went 3-0 and with a 5-14 ERA in 35 innings pitch. He allowed 37 hits to a 1.6 whip, 19 walks to 39 punch outs. So over a strikeout inning for Howard, that lively fastball of his will be hopefully zipping today as Trey Turner batting a measly 100 is going to strike out on that curve right there 84 mile an hour just dropped it in there now Juan Soto 2-1 count and Soto will rip this one the deep right field Harper is going to look up at it and that one will clear the wall a solo home run with two outs in the 391 feet off the bat of Juan Soto you're trying to avoid going down 3-1, hung a pitch right there, not what you want to do to Soto, Soto has that 50 home run power, especially in this game, I think Bryce Harper hits 60 home runs, Soto could definitely hit 50, but back to the Phillies batting now is Reese Hoskins, will lead off the inning with a base hit, and he's going to get that one into second base right there for that lead off double. So hopefully Phillies can muster up a run this inning at least tie this game up for the young pitcher. Now Didi Gregorius and Gregorius is going to chase, chase a curveball inside. Not a not a great uh, not a great swing right there. Now Kingery also chasing chasing the curveball this time outside. And here's a look at that postseason bracket. Washington leads 2-1. LA has beat the Cubs. The Yankees lead the Astros 2-1. And the Twins lead the Athletics 2-1. to one. Jan Gomes now up for the Nationals as he's going to draw himself a two-out walk right there. So Howard has to limit walks right there. He's a lot of home run and a walk now. And the 3-2 count pitch right there to Zimmerman will be a punch out. So no runs allowed after that shaky first inning. Now 3-2 count to Alec Baum. And Alec Baum's going to draw himself a walk. So both pitchers are doing their best to limit base runners. I mean, both have allowed walks. Both have allowed hits. I mean, only so far Howard has allowed a run. Now McCutcheon up, and McCutcheon will chase a slider below the zone right there for Voth's 14th, fourth strike of the game. And now Harper, dribbler through the hole right there. Bomb's going to stay at first, but after that uh, misplay in right, Bomb's going to go home. A drop ball by Juan Soto and right. It's, I think it's Juan Soto and right, possibly. But after a Harper single, you're going to get a JT walk right here. So two men on now with two outs. That's Voss just has to, has to muster down, has to get this next batter out. But Reese Hoskins, 2 1 count. And Hoskins cancels with this one. Sends this one to deep left field. Good, good contact. But that good contact is great as that one's going to sail over into the bullpen. A three-run home run for Reese Hoskins. 398 feet gives the Phillies not only the tie, but the lead as they come in. You know, just Philadelphia is not going to go down easy this game. 
Hoskins gonna replay that one. Connects with it, sends that one straight up into the air. Has that distance, and it just kept on going. Voth just kept looking, and he wished it died, but it did not. Following that, Hoskins home run. Didi's up, and Didi gonna get himself a stand-up double right here with two outs in the inning. So still rallying with two outs now as Scott Kingery connects to this one. Sends this one to deep left field. Is there another one? And no, uh, yes, it is. It went over the wall and came back into play. A two-run shot, the same inning as a three-run shot, as this Phillies team has broken this game wide open. A four-run lead now for the Phillies, as two home runs have, you know, left the yard. But I'll replay that, King Arrow. Let's see exactly where that one landed, because I didn't think that went over. Looks like it hit right off that dot .org sign and shot right back into play. And now Roman Quinn. Quinn connects this one. Perfect, perfect liner. Fastball up over the center of the plate. And Quinn's going to deposit that one into the right field bleachers. So three home runs this inning now. The Philadelphia Phillies are rallying. They have surely broken this game wide open. The Nationals management is now looking towards game number five of this series. There's no way they're going to come back in this game, especially if Spencer Howard locks down this offense. But after that home run right there, the manager has had enough. Austin Voth's day is done. Go to the shower. He's going to bump his manager right there. He's got a few words to say to him. Probably the fact that he had a horrible game. He's going to leave the crowd of boos. But in will come Daniel Hudson. The 2019 you know, postseason hero, Daniel Hudson. The guy that sat there, got big closer money. And he never really had any closing experience. Just came in late and just locked down the postseason. But first batter Daniel Hudson sees, and he's going to allow himself to sing. Let's Alec Baum now with the base hit. Now, back over the Nationals, they finally get a turn to bat as Spencer Howard gets the punch out right there for the second out of the inning. His third punch out of the game. And now back to the Phillies. Andrew McCutcheon lines out in the third, not Anthony Rendon over there. But he's going to throw him out regardless. But McCutcheon, McCutcheon has some words for the umpire, and he thinks he's safe. You know, Philly's management right here is they're going to take a look at it. Let's get a replay of that. You know, third baseman fires it over. Is he safe? And that's going to be a photo finish. But the manager not named Joe Girardi says, hey, let's go with it. We're going to go with it. Throw in the challenge. First base umpire you know, gives him the green light to challenge it. So they are going to be challenging the call at first base. Get another replay of that. And there, right there, that is a safe for Andrew McCutcheon. I understand how that's a close one. I think Zimmerman's a righty. But the umpires do get it right right there. That is a safe call at first base. Now, manager for the Nationals not too thrilled as Bryce Harper is going to chase that Hudson fastball up and out. Now JT up, and JT is going to draw himself a walk. So Phillies have a six-run lead, and they're still working the count right now. 3-2 count to Hoskins, and Hoskins connects to this one. Gets that one down in the left center gap. Not a home run this time, but it's going to be a two-RBI single. Hoskins was just not going to risk being thrown at second base right there. So he stay put at first. Two runs do score, so it's a 9-1 to one game. Now Scott Kingery up, and Kingery is going to strike out swinging right there. Warren Hudson's second punch out of the inning. Powered up now, and Soto will get drilled in the back. Is that intentional right there? Is the lead off the inning as Eric Thames comes up and Thames. Going to deposit a single right there into right field. Harper gets to it quickly and fires on the third base. Dribbles there, but still a strike. Now Howie Kendrick and Howie Kendrick. Going to line up the middle. Quinn gets to it quick. And Soto is going to stay at third base. He probably could have gotten home and scored. 
Starling Cash now and Castro. It's gonna go around to one and to two, and they're gonna go home right there. So that's gonna be two outs, but unfortunately, a run does score. Now Jan Gomes, 2-2, and Gomes will go down swinging right there. So one run does score, but only one run with bases juice, not bad at all. As Alec Baum now works himself a walk. So a seven-run lead now to Philadelphia at the top of the fifth. And they're just taking pitches. McCutcheon up, and McCutcheon connects to this one. He's got some pop to him. Does that have enough? And yes, it does. Another home run for this Philadelphia Phillies team. No, McCutcheon's first home run of the game. 378 to the distance, 101 off the bat. McCutcheon just absolutely connected with that pitch right there. All around great hitting for our leadoff hitter. Look at that. Look at that size difference between Baum and McCutcheon. What a huge size difference that is. But Hunter Strickland, the man who uh, fought Bryce Harper in San Francisco, comes in. In two games, he has a 5.40 ERA. Um, not, not the best pitcher they're probably to go with right now. But there's a reason I'm not a manager in baseball. I mean, I guess that was what you expected. Bryce Harper gets the better of Hunter Strickland again in the Washington Nationals Park. But this time, Strickland's a National, not a Giant, and Harper's a Philly, not a National. But that is twice now in his career. Bryce Harper has gotten the better of Hunter Strickland. As he said, that one 441 feet into the night. Wasn't like it was a high pitch either. No, it was a line drive out of here. 111 off the bat. Harper absolutely demolished that one in the second deck right there. That's about four or five rows deep up there. And now JT going to get called, called out looking right there. It was definitely a ball. But Hoskins... Getting the correct call right there. It's just going to draw himself a two-out walk. So Strickland comes in, allows a home run, and gets a punch out, then instantly walks Reese Hoskins. But with Didi up now, Didi going to strike out swinging Gomes. Can't get to the ball, and Gomes is going to throw in the right field. Didi and Hoskins both advance right there on the wild pitch. Or I guess the wild throw right there by Jan Gomes. So uh, Strickland gets credit with the wild pitch. Gomes oh, apparently didn't get an error. But King Ray trying to take pitches right there. Is going to get called out looking right there on that borderline inside pitch. And now for the Nationals, Adam Eaton comes in. The former Chicago White Sox. Now Eaton, 3-2 count, will get himself a single. Harper gets to it and he'll fire it in though. But a pinch hit single for Adam Eaton. And now Trey Turner up, and Trey Turner catches this one. Sends this one to deep left. McCutcheon just stands there and looks at it. Quinn comes over. But that one will be out of here. A two-run shot for the struggling Trey Turner. I mean, there's only one thing that can get a player out of a slump, and that's hitting a big home run. But just shy of 400 feet, 98 off the bat. A very slow home run. But... JT lets him cross, doesn't have any fuss with the handshake. As now Tanner Rainey will come in for the Washington Nationals. As hopefully he can stop the bleeding that this Phillies offense is just non-stop putting on. Alec Baum up and Baum with a 3-1 count. He's going to get himself a single right there. So, you got to love it. Baum just situational hitting right there. There's one out and just took it the other way. That's what a good hitter does. Zach Eflin now on for the Phillies in 36 games. He went 11-6 and in 159 innings pitched. He had a 3.83 ERA along with a 1-2-8 whip. 135 strikeouts to 53 walks. Just to let you know, that was a career high in strikeouts for Zach Eflin. But first punch out for the first batter he sees. Now former Phillies player Hallie Kendrick going to get himself a single right there. A one-out single for Kendrick as he finds himself at first base. Jan Gomes up now with two outs in the inning. And Gomes going to give himself a single to right. So two singles in the inning. This time with two outs though. So hopefully we can't let that get back to us. And it doesn't. But Rainey will strike out Bryce Harper in the top of the seventh. 
Top of the seventh again, and Rainey will walk Reese Hoskins. So a punch out and a walk for Rainey. Extra pitches, but doesn't come around to bite him. As Drew Cabrera up now, and as Drew Cabrera is going to dump that one in the left field, catches there quickly. So Cabrera is on now with a leadoff single. Will Harris on now for the Washington Nationals. So Harris in two games has a 13.5 ERA. Excuse me. You put who in to face us? Scott Kingery. Saw that right. He's the one had a zero average against Will Harris. And Kingery decides to get himself a leadoff double on the top of the eighth right there. I mean, look at that fist pump. Roman Quinn now. And Quinn will drop down a bunt right there at the 2-2 count. And that bunt will be safe. An infield single for Roman Quinn. Will Harris now pitch out. Quinn was stealing, and Quinn will be gunned out right there. So Quinn runs himself onto the bases, and he instantly runs himself off. Alec Baum now draws a walk, so man on first and third still. Only one out. Eflin puts down the bunt. That ball will go to third, second, I'm sorry, and then the first, but the run will score. So it's a 13-4 game as, you know, the ball went to second base instead of first. But Kendrick now, and Kendrick will ground one past Hoskins. Hoskins had to dive for it, but could not get there in time. All right. 2-2 two -two count to Harper now. Harper's not strikeout looking right there. He thought that was a bit outside. Home plan umpire thought otherwise. JT up now, and JT's going to swing through a cutter right there. Not a great postseason so far for JT. We need him to turn things around quickly. As Reese Hoskins makes up for that one. And he does not miss that hanging curveball. Absolutely wrecks it. Sends it to deep left field. Will Harris thought he was going to cruise through another, another inning. You know, thought he was going to give the Nationals a chance to come back. I mean, look how empty this playoff game is. This is a playoff game. And this place is empty people paid good money for these playoffs he's looking at the behind the home plate and it is more or less empty i mean no one no one wants to come and watch this right here no one wants to come and watch a team get absolutely blown out during the postseason i mean no one wants to watch a team get blown out during the regular season either but besides the point Anthony dominguez is going to come in now he struggled during the regular season had a very high era but in two games so far his era is zero but Zerman up now, and Zerman will swing through the off-speed pitch. JT drops it, but hey, Zerman's going to be thrown out first base right there. And now pinch hitting for the Washington National will be Victor Robles. The outfielder right here. I mean, he had a lot of potential. I think he still does. But 2-1 count to Robles, and Robles sends on the deep right field. Harper's giving chase. That ball's carrying, and Harper will make the catch. He runs into the wall. But he makes the catch regardless. Spencer Howard gets himself his first career postseason win. You got to think Kingarine, DD did it all. They had some good hits. And we also had some good hits. Reese Hoskins, Andrew McCutcheon, all of these players connected and had an amazing game in game number four. They forced themselves into game five. The Nationals. We're on a hot streak. They held off the Nationals for one more game. Now, can they do it in game number five? We'll find out next episode. Episode 18 was a fun one. A lot of offense in Philadelphia here. But take a look at this right there. Soda had three at bats, a hit, two runs, and a home run. Turner also with a home run, two RBIs. Hoskins went four for four with two home runs and six RBIs. Hoskins absolutely did it all. But there they go. They're going to try and talk to Reese Hoskins right now. I say, Reese, down here in Washington, you just put on a show. You had a four hit game. You have a four hit game all season. And you're going to show up in the playoffs and just unload two home runs and two other hits. Hoskins just nonchalantly talking about how six RBIs and Spencer Howard did it all. But Hoskins is your player of the game. Two home runs, a double, six RBIs. And that's what's going to do for you. Spencer Howard gets credit with the win. He went five innings, allowed four hits, 
I'm sorry, he went uh, five hits, had four strikeouts, four runs, and a walk. But if you guys did this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Liking really does help the video. Helps it, you know, with the YouTube algorithm. But until next time, YouTube, peace out, rock on, and stay super classy, I guess.